Hello, my name is Karen. I am a P2 user and I'm here today to show you some of the great features of the PMBP portal. The PMBP portal is your gateway to all P2 and PMBP applications, reports, documentation, and training. As you navigate the PMBP portal, the applications bar will be displayed on each page, providing quick and easy access to the applications you use most often. An important feature of the portal is the P2 status dashboard. All you need to do is click on the link to view the latest system status. As you can see, the pop-up displays important P2 system status indicators, so you can become aware of any vital information that may affect your work. The icons will change according to the status. Green means that everything is up and working properly. Amber means that it's running, but there are some issues. Red means that one or more components of the system is not working. If you move your mouse over some of the icons, the dashboard will provide you with more detailed information regarding the status. Another feature of the portal that is very helpful is the robust site search feature. Let me show you how this works. Today, I needed to refer to the CMI mapping document, but I wasn't sure where on the portal it's located. Rather than hunting around the site, all I had to do was click on Site Search, enter CMI mapping in the search box, and the document I am looking for appears at the top of the list. From here, I can launch the document by clicking on the link. I can also go to the folder where the document is stored to view other related documentation that is stored in the Portal Document Library. Another way to access the information that is most pertinent to you and your job is to go directly to your mission area. On the left navigation bar, click to expand mission areas and click on your program. On the right side of the screen, you can view system messages and postings that are specific to your program. I would also like to introduce you to the My P2 Reports area of the portal. To view the reports that are available to you, you must first log in using your UPASS username and Oracle password. The first time you enter, you will need to add the reports that you will run most often by clicking on the link to select Reports. You can view the reports by their logical grouping or you can select to view by role. As you can see, each role displays the reports that are pertinent to people in that role. I am a project manager, so I'm going to review the reports that are applicable to me. To add reports to my own personal My P2 Reports area of the portal, all I have to do is check the box next to the reports and click the Update button. As you can see, the reports I selected are now available in the My P2 Reports area, and I can always add and remove reports at any time. From the portal, you can jump directly to the P2 Training site to view the courses that are available and to request training. From the left navigation, click on the training link. The P2 training team is now offering on-site training and virtual training through webinars. There are also many online tutorials and workbooks posted on the P2 training portal. To view the catalog of courses, click on the link in the left navigation and select to review the courses that are available. Once you have decided on the courses you would like to take, click on Training Request Form and click on the button to respond to this survey. Fill out the appropriate information, submit, and a representative from the P2 training team will contact you to confirm your request for training. Even after attending P2 training, you may have questions on how to do certain functions in P2. Let's go back to the portal. From here, you can launch the P2 user guide, which has step-by-step -step instructions showing you how to work in P2.
One feature that is valuable to me as a project manager is to view the information that I need to perform as a PM as defined in the Project Management Business Process, or PMBP. I find the checklists and flowcharts to be very helpful. For example, I want to be sure I'm completing all of the appropriate tasks during project initiation. I can click on the checklist link and view all of the steps that need to be completed in order for a project to be initiated. I can also view this process as an interactive swim lane flowchart. Now, I can focus on just the steps that I need to complete. If I have questions on any step in the flow, I can drill down for more information. Unfortunately, we do not have time today to cover all of the great features and information contained in the P2 User Guide. You can find additional information in the P2 User Guide. PMBP Portal and the P2 Training Site. It's been a pleasure speaking to you today about some of the great features that you can find in the PMBP portal. Have a great day.